everyone, welcome to your hot mess yoga class. Uh, I am so nerdy excited about today's class. One, I, I based the sequence on book one, Avatar The Last Airbender, Water, on Netflix. Netflix, call me. Anyway, I digress. Uh, two, I've also designed the sequence today to kind of go back to a moment in my life where um, I'm just going to show how old I am. I used to rent from week to week a Rani Advanced Arm Balances and Inversions DVD. And when I first got it, I was really bad at it. And then I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing it. And uh, I never mastered it, which was kind of cool because I got to track my growth. So the sequence today is designed to be difficult, but still accessible. So give yourself this chance to go through it and be like, whoa, that was hard. I want to try it again though. And then keep tracking your growth. Finally, we've done something that I'm very excited about. We're breaking this up into sections going forward. So let's say today you only have half an hour. Pick the Sun A section, pick the Core section, and then pick the Sun B section, and then call it a day, where you can kind of piecemeal together, like, what kind of sequence do you want to work on based on the hour sequence that I have created for you. No props needed unless you want them. I'm always down for a good old-fashioned block. Other than that, I will see you on your mats. Come into child's pose. Separate your knees as wide as comfortable. Lower your glutes down towards your heels. Rest your forehead comfortably on the mat and create as much extension through your arms and spine as possible. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Do that one more time, a nice long, full, deep breath in. Open sigh and release out. Start to lick your lips to a seal. Find a constriction in your throat, creating the squeeze in the back of your throat to create this oceanic sound. As we play with my full-fledged avatar theme, you might notice that I am basically dressed as a yogic cosplay version of Princess Azula, and I did not realize that on the day we started filming. Create a little bit more drawback of your shoulder blades down your spine. And inhale, press forward into your tabletop position. Line up your shoulders over your wrists and inhale, cow. Drop your belly, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, cat, curl through your spine. Inhale, cow, keep squeezing your inner thighs together. Exhale, cat, press into your shins and palms. Take this two more times, the full breath to open up through the back. Exhale, curl and look back at your belly button. One more inhale, stretch, take as much breath as you can. Exhale, round your spine and start to transition back into your tabletop. Inhale, easy twist, lift your right arm up, start to make some gentle circles with your right wrist in one direction. Warm up your shoulders, create big circles with your right arm in one way and then switch it out, big circles the other side. Take a moment, pause at the top. Exhale, thread the needle, and today, slide your left arm forward and extend your left leg back long behind you. You can kickstand your toes, or using your left hand to base you, begin to lift your left heel up towards the ceiling. Create some balance in your inner thighs, drop your left hip down in line with your right. Lower your left foot down if you took that extension. Inhale, lift your right arm back up and exhale back to your tabletop. Inhale, extend the left arm up, make those same circles with your left wrist and take it into big circles with your left arm in one direction, anchor down through the right palm. Begin to switch out the flow, making those big circles in the counter direction. Take a moment, pause at the top. Exhale, thread the needle, extend your right arm forward, rest your left ear into the mat, take your right leg back behind you, option to stay here or begin to elevate your right heel up, squeeze through your core, keep turning your right hip flexor to face the floor, hold and breathe, 
begin to drop the right knee back down walk the right hand to its starting position inhale easy twist left arm up and place your palm back to the mat extend your left leg back reach your right arm forward now begin to lift your left heel without letting your belly drop exhale elbow to knee but for this one today, same elbow, same knee. We're almost trying to take your right elbow back to your right hip crease. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze in. Do this one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Begin to release back down and switch it all out. Lengthen your right leg back. Extend your left arm forward. As you lift the heel, draw in the low belly. Breath in exhale same elbow same thigh hug in through your core keep the back of your neck lifting up towards the ceiling pay attention if your low belly is starting to dip keep working everything skyward good keep it going you've got one more full set reach out and back to your tabletop walk your hands a palm print forward and exhale down dog take a deep bend into one knee and then the other start to find earth cultivation of stillness anchor down into your palms press down into your heels take a moment to stretch your chest back towards your shins breathe in exhale ragdoll tiptoe your feet behind your wrists grab for opposite elbows today and allow some weight to shift towards your toes We'll play here with this pendulum effect of rocking side to side in order to get a little bit deeper into the spine. Biceps up in line with your ears, rock all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Do that one more time, all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Now let's increase this big circle. Inhale, lift the torso up, arms stay in that bind. Exhale, swing back down. Inhale up and over to the right and exhale down and twist to the left. Let's switch it out. Grab for opposite elbows. Start to pendulum over towards the left side, up to standing little baby back bend there at the top and lower down one more. Inhale, reach up and over. Keep the bind at the elbows. Drop to the middle and hold. Release your hands down. Toe heel your feet together. Bend your knees and with a very heavy head, start to roll yourself up to your standing position. Take a circle shrug at the top. Gather your hands to your heart. Samastiti. Today I offer you up the idea of full balance. And it might sound a little weird or a little cheesy, but earth, wind, fire, water, all of our main elements coming together in our physical practice today. Inhale mountain, lift your arms up and overhead. Draw energy from the floor all the way up through your legs. Anchor down into your core. Create extension all the way up through your fingertips. Take a moment to find your balance, your center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Today, make a fist and push your fist into your right hip to help send your hips up and over to the left. Relax your left shoulder down. Inhale, lift back up to mountain. Make a fist with your left hand. Push the fist into your left hip. Bump your hips all the way over to the right as far as possible. Aiming for your right fingertips to keep stretching up and overhead. Inhale, mountain. Pull back up. Exhale, goddess back bend. Goal post your arms. Expose your heart and throat up to the ceiling. Inhale, mountain stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Harness the energy down through heart center. Let your head hang at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift. Active tabletop in the spine. Exhale, chaturanga. Step or hop to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Peel your chest up. Exhale, down dog. We'll take a few variations of that going forward. So breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain, circle sweep your arms up. This time as you side bend to the right, place your right hand closer towards your right thigh, but above the knee. Inhale, lift back up. 
Exhale, left palm at the thigh, a little above the knee. Keep side bending over. Inhale, stretch back up to center mountain pose. Exhale, back bend, squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward. Inhale, lift back up, level your chin with the mat. Exhale, forward fold, squeeze your inner thighs, drop your head heavily. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward and up. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your palms. Lower down, inhale, upward facing dog, wave your chest to the back wall. Exhale, down dog, curl through the spine. Inhale, stretch your chest to your shins. Exhale, forward fold to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, use the full breath. Inhale, mountain, another change coming up. Exhale, side bend to the right with a half bind. Top of your right hand goes to your outer left hip. Inhale, lift back up for mountain. Exhale, side bend to the left. Top of the left hand goes to the outer right hip. Inhale, mountain, squeeze to reach back up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain, pull all the way through. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your core tight as you drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your palms. You can start to hop it back or keep it as is. Just check in with your body. One more sun A flow, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, journey to the front of the room. Inhale, halfway lift, pull weight into your heels. Exhale, fold forward, drop weight into your toes. Inhale, mountain, float your arms up and overhead. This time, as you side bend to the right, aim for your right fingertips to get closer down towards your toes. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left, as much of a stretch over through your side as possible. Inhale, mountain, pull up. Exhale, back bend, roll your chin up. Inhale, mountain, create the length through the whole body. Exhale, forward fold, harness the energy down through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, keep the fire in your core. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga, lift your knees in your up dog. Exhale, downward facing, take a deep breath in. Keep the fire of the breath, ujjayi breath out. Drop down to your knees for gate pose crunches. I'll turn and face you so that way we're on the same page. Start with your knees hip width distance. Extend your left leg out so that your heel is in line with your right knee. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Take your left hand to your left hip. Lift your left leg up in line with your hip. Start to make tiny little baby circles with your left heel in one direction. The challenge is to keep the heel in line with the hip. Last three, two, one. Switch it out, tiny little circles going the other direction. Stabilize the outer right hip, aiming to still keep the floating heel in line with the hip. Hold here, reach your left arm up and overhead, exhale, elbow to knee. Squeeze into center, inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Earth, wind, fire, and water working again. Fire in the belly, grounded stability of earth, the fluidity of movement, and the breath flowing through. Last two, squeeze, final set, pull it in, Release and grab for the left foot, taking this into a sideways half bow. Pull your left heel in tight towards your tush, look up towards the ceiling. Begin to release the left foot down, come back up, stand on your knees and switch it out. Right leg goes out, right heel in line with the left knee, inhale arms up. Exhale side bend to the left, lift your right heel up, find those same little circles of your right foot going in one direction. Aiming for the heel to stay level with the hip. Draw in through the core. Hold here. Now start to switch out the circles going in the opposite way. Left hip now stays right over the kneecap. Keep pulling up through the torso. You're almost done. We'll hold it. Reach the top arm up and overhead. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to squeeze. Keep that going. Core in, keep your chin off your chest. Trust the rhythm of your body. Almost out of this, tighten through your inner thighs. Almost out of this last two. 
final one, finish it out, reach back, grab for the pinky side of your floating foot, pull your heel in close towards your glute, look up towards the ceiling, give it a breath. Begin to release back down, drop your right knee to the floor, swing your legs around in front of you, plant your heels onto the mat, reach your arms forward, breath in, exhale slowly lower down onto your back, supta baddha konasana crunches, glue the soles of your feet together, tilt your business up to the ceiling, basket grip at the nape of the neck, breathe in, exhale crunch, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Now find that compression of your feet pushing together. Rest your head comfortably into your palms. Aim for your shoulder blades to lift as far off the mat as possible without letting your low back lift. So if that means you slow it down or you don't go so high, that is fine. Last two. Final one, hold it up. Now begin to reach your arms up to the ceiling, wrists in line with the shoulder area. Encourage your shoulders one extra inch up and release. Hands at the nape of your neck, bring your knees into your chest, stamp your feet onto the ceiling. Take a second, level out your hips, breathe in, hover your shoulders, exhale, lower your heels down roughly 30 degrees, and then lower down another 30, low back stays flat, 30 degrees more, and hold whale tails right and left, right, left, right, left. Keep your ankles glued together. Hold in center, then bring everything back up in 30, 60, 90. Drop the arms down to the sides, bring the knees in towards your chest. We'll do that again with arms by your sides. Breath in, lift your shoulders, start to hover down 30 degrees. Hover down 30 degrees. Hover and hold, whale tails left, right, left, right. Two more. Plug your low back to the floor, stop at center, lift up 30, lift up 30 all the way back to the starting point release take a good morning stretch point your toes lift your arms overhead now exhale side bend to the right and then walk the legs over to the right crossing your left calf over your right shin so like you're a lateral banana and then come back to center take it over to the other side side bend to the left walk the legs to the left crisscross at the ankles you can also call this reclined princess Yue pose, um, but you know, it's kind of sad. And then come back to center. Start to pull your knees into your chest. Grab for the back of your legs now with some control. Rock and roll up, crisscross at the ankles, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, push the ground away. Exhale, down dog. Let's give this a moment, take a deep breath in. Ujjayi, breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hip stack, bend your right knee. Aim your right heel over towards your outer left hip. Feel free to wiggle your knee, hip, ankle joint, whatever you need right now to help open that up. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Pause, squeeze everything in. Inhale, runner's lunge. Plant your right foot off to the pinky side of your right hand. Inhale, easy twist. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Draw your shoulder blades in tight. Hold here. Exhale, horizons lunge. Roll to the pinky sides of both of your feet. Lower your right arm down in line with the shoulder and start to look back to your fingertips. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, low lunge. Take the time to toe heel your right foot underneath your face. Inhale, crescent with high five hands. So a bit of a baby back bend here. Press your palms together. Additional challenge if you look up at your palms. Exhale, reverse namaskar. Bend your elbows, plant your thumbs towards the nape of your neck. Maintain the 90 degree lunge into your front knee. Inhale, warrior two. If you need to adjust your feet, go ahead. Draw your shoulder blades in tight. Start to look over your front fingertips. Hold steady. Ground down into your feet. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Begin to hinge forward. Exhale, triangle, trikonasana. Keep the weight into the pinky sides of your feet. Line up your top arm over your top shoulder. Option to gaze up at your top fingertips. 
Keep pressing your hips out towards the left edge of your mat. Inhale, high triangle. Lift up your torso, high five your hands overhead. Push down into your shoulder pads. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, high skandasana to the back of your mat. Lunge into your back knee, flex your right foot. Bring your hands towards your left armpit with a prayer position with the hands. Look forward. Water bending transition coming up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Scoop your hands down to the floor, then begin to lift up and overhead. Reach up long through your right hand. Now big transition coming up, starting with your back foot. Exhale, crescent with airplane arm. Spin your left heel up to the ceiling. Turn your left hip flexor down to the floor. Lean your chest down towards your right shin. Push down into your right heel. Inhale, single leg mountain. Begin to circle sweep your arms forward, then up to the ceiling. Line up your left kneecap with your left hip. Take a breath in. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Stamp your left heel in line with your right. Sweep your arms back behind you. Do a little shoulder shrug with your arms. Inhale, mountain with a gentle back bend. Begin to straighten your legs. Lift your arms up and overhead. Look up at your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Swoosh your hands down to the floor. Let your head hang heavy at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift your chest. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your palms, step or jump to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing, roll to the big toe sides of your feet. Exhale, down dog, curl back over your heels. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, hip stack. Wave your left hip over your right. Feel free to make those same little movements that you did from the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale, left knee to your left armpit. Hinge forward and hold. Firm your inner thighs. Inhale, runner's lunge. Plant your left foot over to the pinky side of your left hand. Inhale, easy twist. Extend your left arm up. Draw the shoulders together. Option to look up. Exhale, horizons lunge. Start to roll over into the pinky sides of the feet. Squeeze your inner thighs. Look back over your left fingertips. Inhale, start to circle it back around and take this into your low lunge. So plant your left hand. Toe heel your left foot underneath your nose. Dig into your front heel, squeeze your core. Inhale, high five crescent, palms come together. Option to look up. Pull your shoulders down your back. Exhale, reverse namaskar. Bend your elbows, tap your thumbs to the base of your neck. Press your skull into your arms, your arms back up into your skull. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Take a second, readjust the feet. Make sure that your wrists are up in line with your shoulders, then begin to gaze outward. Draw the focus into the core. Challenge yourself to hold it. Inhale, begin to straighten your front leg. Exhale, reach forward, then down, triangle pose. Scoop your right front hip to lean back to the wall behind you. Aim for your top arm to line up over your shoulder. Draw each muscle in tight to the bone. Inhale, high triangle, palms come together. Feet stay in that same position. Squeeze your glutes to push your hips forward, breath in. Exhale, high skandasana, hook your thumbs to your back armpit. Lunge any amount into your right knee, flex your left foot, gaze forward, water bender. Keep digging into your left heel. Big transition, but have fun with it. Inhale, reverse warrior, scoop the water down onto the mat, reach your left arm up, over, and around. Aim for your shoulders to still line up over your hips to allow the side body stretch to happen. Take a deep breath in, starting with your back foot, exhale, crescent airplane. Back heel spins up to the ceiling, rotate your right hip flexor to the floor, bow your chest down any amount. Pinch your shoulders together, dig into your left heel. Inhale, single leg mountain. Use a little bit of air, momentum to pull you up towards the ceiling. Take a breath, keep reaching up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Bring the right foot down in line with the left. Sweep the arms back behind you, bow your chest down. Dig into your heels. Inhale, mountain with a gentle back bend. Squeeze your legs, pull your arms up and over. Look up at your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, draw your hands through your heart, let your head hang. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, chaturanga, step or jump to the back of your mat. Breathe in. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Out through the nose, keep building that fire, that heat. Let's do this. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, hip stack. Inhale, hinge forward, right knee, right armpit. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, easy twist, right arm reaches up. Exhale, horizons lunge, roll to the pinky sides of the feet. Inhale, back to center. Use your exhale to toe heel your right foot under your face. Inhale, high five, crescent, look up. Exhale, reverse namaskar, bend the elbows. Inhale, warrior two, widen out your arms. Exhale, triangle, flow between the movements. Inhale, high triangle, bring your palms together at the top. Exhale, high skandasana, lunge into your back knee, look forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, scoop your water up and overhead. Exhale, crescent airplane, spin the left heel up, turn the left hip down. Inhale, single leg mountain, pull yourself to the top of the mat. Exhale, crescent airplane, sweep the arms back in space. Inhale, mountain, gentle back bend, look up. Exhale, forward fold, draw your hands through your heart. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, let's do it again. Inhale, send the left leg up. Exhale, hip stack. Inhale, knee to armpit, hinge forward. Exhale, runner's lunge, plant the left foot. Inhale, easy twist, left arm extends up. Exhale, horizons, reach back with the left hand. Inhale, low lunge, start to toe heel the left foot underneath your face. Inhale, high five crescent, maintain your lunge. Exhale, reverse namaskar, hinge forward in the knee. Inhale, warrior two, strengthen outward. Exhale, triangle, draw your shoulders together. Inhale, high triangle, hands together, dig into your heels. Exhale, high skandasana, lunge into your back knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee, scoop up, over, and around. Exhale, crescent airplane, turn the right hip down, bow the chest forward. Inhale, single leg mountain, dig down into your left heel. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, bow the heart down. Inhale, mountain with a baby back bend, look up. Exhale, forward fold, spill down over your shins. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the shoulders together. Exhale, chaturanga. Remember, you can step, hop, do a double push-up. You do you, my friend. Breathe in. Ujjayi breath out. Inhale, send the right leg up. Exhale, hip stack, squeeze into your palms. Inhale, knee to armpit, hinge the chest forward. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, easy twist, right arm up. Exhale, horizons, reach back. Inhale to center. Exhale, low lunge, right foot underneath the nose. Inhale, high five crescent, keep the lunge. Exhale, reverse namaskar, bend the elbows. Inhale, warrior two, look out. Exhale, triangle, start to look up. Inhale, high five triangle, bring the palms together. Exhale, high skandasana, shift to the back. Inhale, reverse warrior, shift to the front, then reach back. Exhale, crescent airplane, lift the belly off the thighs. Inhale, single leg mountain, pull yourself up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, swing back. Inhale, mountain, look up to your fingers. Exhale, forward fold, squeeze your thighs, lower down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, step or jump it back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, send your left leg up. Exhale, hip stack. Inhale, knee to armpit, hinge the torso forward. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, easy twist, left arm extends. Exhale, horizon, squeeze the shoulders in tight. Inhale, low lunge, start to toe heel the left foot under. Come up into your high five crescent lift. Exhale, reverse namaskar, bend the elbows. Inhale, warrior two, keep the front lunge. Exhale, triangle, pop the hips to the back wall. Inhale, high triangle, palms together. Exhale, skandasana, shift the energy to the back. Inhale, reverse warrior, flow the water up and overhead. 
Exhale, crescent airplane, micro bend your elbows. Inhale, single leg mountain, gaze forward, hold it. Exhale, chair with airplane, pull it back. Inhale, mountain, scoop yourself up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, draw the energy down. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out your chest. Exhale, chaturanga. You can tell when I really, really like a sequence based on how many times I do a jump back. So fancy. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take a moment. Press into your hands and feet. Breathe in. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Start to roll up to a standing position. I'm going to turn and face you. You keep in the same position. Inhale, mountain. Lift your arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Samastitihi. Inhale, tree pose, vrikshasana. Bend your right knee and start to curl your right heel either into your ankle, your calf muscle, or avoid your knee completely and bring your right heel up into your left inner thigh. Draw your thumbs to your heart or for an extra challenge, lift your arms overhead. Now, either way, hands to heart or arms overhead, Visualize what your body is doing. An option to begin to close your eyes as you hold and breathe, letting each little wiggle go through the body as you stay steady. Lower your hands to your heart. Exhale, figure four chair. Connect your right ankle to your left quad. Begin to squat down. Aim your left kneecap to stay right on top of your left ankle stay here or begin to extend your arms out long in front of you. Wherever you're at though, push your ankle into your thigh, your thigh into your ankle and keep your sits bones level with each other. Inhale, single leg mountain, pull up. Exhale, standing splits, whoosh your right leg up to the ceiling. Line up your hips with each other. Gaze back to the wall behind you. Option to create a half bind, plant your left palm behind your left calf muscle. Ensure that your right hip flexor, though, isn't opening out to the side wall. Keep directing your front hip to face the ground. Kick hard for your floating leg. Give this one more moment to play here. Work your shoulders down and away from your ears. Start to lower your right foot down to join your left. Inhale, roll yourself back up to a standing position. Let's try that all over again on the left. Inhale, mountain, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, hands to your heart, samastiti. Inhale, tree pose, connect your left heel to your ankle, your calf, or all the way up into your thigh. Level out the hips. Option for hands to stay at the heart. Option to grow out your branches, but today I really invite you to try it on with your eyes closed. Visualize your body, holding steady, your breath fully supporting this hold. Create extension through all sides of your body and breath. Take one more round here. Exhale, figure four chair, your left ankle to your right quad. As you start to sit down, keep your sits bones lined up with each other. Shoulder blades stay taut. Option to stay here or extend the arms forward. Keep pushing your hips back to allow your rib cage to stretch further from your waistline. Inhale, single leg mountain, pull yourself back up. Exhale, standing splits, drop your chest down. Kick your left heel as high up as possible without losing the balance of your left hip in line with the right. Option for the half bind, right hand scoops behind the right calf. Look back to the wall. Line up your armpits with each other as an easy way to help keep your hips and torso square. Take some time here, dig into your right heel. Begin to lower your left foot down, forward fold. Roll yourself back up to your standing position. Shrug your shoulders down if you need that. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold, dive your head down. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out your spine. Exhale, chaturanga. So for this next section, really think of the element of earth, being grounded, fully engaged in what you're doing, unmovable. And we're going to switch it up. Inhale, lift your left leg up. What? We always do the right leg. Left leg, low lunge. 
Step the back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Now, if you've watched my how-to videos, we're today going to do the American version. So squaring the hips to the top of the mat. Back heel firmly rooted onto the floor. Feel your right front hip getting a stretch supported by the strength in your left glute. Option to high five your hands together. Maybe look up at the ceiling. Exhale, interlace your hands at your low back. Inhale, curl your chin up. Exhale, humble warrior, begin to bow your head down. Now, I'm really tight in this section, so you're aiming for your sits bones to still be in line with each other. So keep encouraging your left glute back to the wall behind you in order to help square your right hip forward in line with your left. Cascade your knuckles as far forward overhead as you can. Start to release the hands. Inhale, warrior one, lift back up. Exhale, horse, hands to your heart. Rotate your heels in towards each other. Dance down until you're ready to be still. Inhale, lift your arms up and overhead. Exhale, eagle arms, left elbow under. High five hands or a bear hug. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, humble horse, round your spine. Now, option to go a little bit deeper by tenting your fingertips onto the floor and lifting onto your tippy toes. So aiming for your sits bones to drop down in line with the knees, using your hands and feet to kind of act like a triangle shape to help balance the weight all throughout your body. Inhale, lift yourself back up, unwind the arms, high triangle, adjust the feet, back toes face the right side, high five the hands. Lunge deeply into your left leg, exhale, eagle to the back of your mat. Now you might need to pause the video and watch that transition. But when you're ready, curling the left thigh over the right, wrap your left elbow underneath your right. Gaze forward, line up your shoulders over your hips. Firm each muscle in tight. Inhale, single leg mountain. Exhale into a horse position. It takes a little bit to wiggle around to get in there, but when you're ready, squat down and hold. All right, this is a biggie. Turn your heels in towards each other as much as possible, keeping your left foot facing the top of your mat. Pivot your back foot. Inhale, half moon. Now we'll do the traditional version today of aiming to keep the hands at heart center. Lift your back leg up in line with your hip. Rotate your torso to face the right side of the room as much as possible. Lower back down into your horse. Take a second, find your stance again. Rotating your back toes to the back short side of the mat. Inhale, half moon. Not only is this a difficult pose, but it's a difficult transition. But to quote Avatar Roku, it was bitter work. So it's okay to stumble through it, work through it. Just keep trying. Aim the back heel up in line with the hips. Turn your torso as far around to face the side of the room as possible. Lower back into your horse. Inhale, star, lift up tall to the front of your mat. Exhale, chaturanga. Whew. Like, you know when you write something, you're like, that was difficult. That was difficult. Great job. This is just a growing process. Breathe in. Lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Start to place the left heel onto the mat. Turn the hips forward. Inhale, the American version of warrior one. Both hips face the front. Lunge any amount into your right knee. Stretch your left hip flexor. Option to high five your hands. Option to look up. Feel the balance throughout both feet. Begin to interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, pop your chin up. Exhale, humble warrior. And again, this is a hard one. You are aiming for your left hip flexor to face the floor. You are trying to get your sits bones in line with each other, but it's a process. Trust the work that you're doing now. So long as you feel safe and rooted over time, the body will get there. Aim the weight evenly into both heels. Begin to release the hands. Inhale, warrior one, lift up. Exhale, horse, turn your heels in dance your way down. Keep your knees bent. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, eagle arms, left elbow wraps underneath the right. Inhale, back bend. 
exhale, humble horse round the spine, tent up your left fingertips onto the floor, option to lift onto your tippy toes, three point balance fingertips and the 10 toes help line you up, keep you balanced. Firm your inner thighs, keep pushing your knees back, drop your heels, inhale, lift your chest, unravel the arms, inhale, star into a high triangle, point your left toes to the long side of the mat, start to lunge into your right knee to the back of the mat, exhale, eagle, right thigh wraps on top, right elbow wraps under. It takes quite some time to get that transition smooth, so if you need to keep practicing it, go ahead, but line up your shoulders over your sits bones, balancing more weight towards your left heel, letting your left knee line up over the ankle joint. Inhale, star, start to transition open, take a second, wiggle it out. Exhale, turn to the front of the mat, chaturanga, lower down. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you do that horse half moon stuff again. That would be crazy. Breathe in, breathe out. Begin to drop down to your knees, take a seat on your glutes, swing your legs around in front of you, take the soles of the feet together, and exhale, Baddha Konasana. Lower your head down any amount towards your feet. You can always use your elbows or your hands to help press the inside of your knees deeper down to the floor. If it's comfortable, reach your arms out in front of you. Now, if your forehead easily touches your feet, love it, that's great. If you need to place a block on your feet so that your forehead has something to rest on, go ahead. Let your knees open out wide. Relax your shoulders down. And in this little cave, being with yourself, take a moment to reconnect with your breath. Check in with your energy. And inhale, start to lift yourself back up. Take this into Golmukh Asana leg. So you stack your left thigh underneath your right aiming to get your knees to touch one upon the other, and then start to take it into a twist. Use your left hand to encourage your torso to twist more to the right. If you'd like the half bind, right hand to, to the outer left hip, or place the palm onto the floor. If at any point this feels like too much, take crisscross applesauce or easy seat or sukhasana, all the same pose, just three different names. Begin to switch out the cross of your legs, look forward, and exhale, Golmukh Asana, twist. Take the right hand to the outer left thigh hip area, possibly the half bind with the left hand to the outer right hip, but line up your shoulders over your waistline, draw your shoulder blades together, use your right hand into your left thigh to keep encouraging your torso to twist to the left. Take one more round of breath here. Spin back to the front. Extend your right leg out to an angle. Connect your left heel to your right inner thigh. Quick untuck of your glutes. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, turn, twist, Janyushasana, seated forehead to knee pose. Of course, if your forehead doesn't comfortably touch your knee, no worries. Aim your hands to touch your quad, your shin, or maybe your foot, but extend your low ribs to pull far and away from your hips. Inhale, lift up. Place your left hand by your left hip. Point your right toes. Inhale, stargazer. Circle your right arm across your body. Draw your shoulder blades together. Lift your hips up. We'll flow between those two shapes. Come back to center. Exhale, seated, Janyushasasana. Inhale, stargazer, plant the left palm, lift the right arm up. Exhale, sweep it back around, turn, twist, grab for your right foot. One more. Inhale, stargazer, left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, sweep it back around, drop your chest to your shins. And inhale, lift yourself back up and start to switch out your legs. Exhale, twist to the left, lower your chest down. Plug your left thigh bone back and into your hip socket. And feel your breath start to cool your body down. Relax the shoulders. Anchor down into the sits bones. 
We'll begin to play with Stargazer back into that John Yu flow. Right hand to the floor. Inhale, sweep your left arm across. Stargazer, reach back to the wall behind you. And exhale, begin to sweep it back around. Drop the sits bones, lower your chest towards your left shin. Two more times. Inhale, Stargazer. Left hand sweeps across the room. Reach back. Exhale, sit down, drop the chest to the shin. One more, plant your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift the torso up. Exhale, sweep back and around, lower down towards your shin. Begin to lift yourself back up. Place your hands to the floor in front of you. Swing your left leg back behind you and take this into just a really quick down dog in order to help hinge you forward and lower all the way down onto your belly. Start with your arms crisscrossed one upon the other, I dream of genie style, with your left arm under first. Exhale, half prone frog. So bend your right knee so that your inner right thigh, inner knee, inner ankle is all on the floor with your knee in line with your hip. Left leg nice and straight, point your toes. Let gravity help press your right inner thigh deeper down to the floor. Straighten your right leg back behind you. Half prone frog, begin to bend your left knee so that your knee is in line with your hip, your left heel in line with your kneecap, your inner thigh pushing down to the floor. And switch out the crisscross of your forearm. So right forearm on bottom, left forearm on top, and rest your forehead onto your arms. Take this into a full prone frog. Rebend your right knee. So now your heels are lined up with each other. Your inner ankles, your inner knees, inner thighs, all pushing downward towards the mat. If this feels too crazy, you can always flip onto your back and do happy baby instead. But over time, this will get easier. Letting gravity and breath sink you deeper and deeper into the mat. Straighten your legs back behind you. Start in cobra with your thumbs in line with your breastbone. Begin to lift your chest. Now walk your hands out and lift onto your fingertips. Start to roll your chest to the left. Come back to center and roll your chest to the right. Do that one more time on each side. Getting a little bit of rotation into the spine. Glue your ankles together and twisting to the right. Come back to center, place your hands back by your sides, press up through a tabletop to start to swing your legs out in front of you and lower down onto your back. This can be fast if you are ready to be done or a nice slow roll down if you want one last bit of core. Drop your knees into your chest. You can rock a little side to side if that feels comfortable. Then take this into eagle legs, right thigh on top. Eagle supine twist, drop your knees to the left, scoot your hips to the right, right arm out to a T-shape, option to use your left hand to help encourage your right thigh closer towards the floor. If it's comfortable in your neck, look to your right fingertips, but start to relax your tongue off the roof of your mouth, taking out some tension from muscles that do not need to work right now. Inhale back to center. Begin to switch out the cross of your legs. Exhale, supine eagle twist. Drop your knees to the right. Scoot your hips to the left. Again, feel free to use your right hand to help glide your left thigh closer down to the floor. Begin to let go of conscious breathing getting closer and closer to our Shavasana. Come back to center. Bring your knees into your chest. Curl yourself into a tight little ball shape, releasing every bit of energy left in the body. Exhale, Shavasana. Take a moment to get comfortable. Relax your limbs. Let your arms drop out to your sides. Imagine you are floating in a pool of calm water 
and allow yourself to drift away with your breath. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, release. You have earned a few moments of just being and breathing. Begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingertips and your toes, create movement throughout your whole body, reach your arms up and overhead and at your own pace roll to whichever side you would like. When you are ready, lift yourself up to a seat, bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment and reflect on your practice. Inhale, lift your thumbs to your third eye center. Exhale, bow forward. And to quote the avatar, the greatest illusion is the illusion of separation. Remember that we're all in this together. Avatar state, yip yip. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Oh my god, I really, really hope you guys liked it. Uh, please remember, book your classes with me because I want to teach you that sequence, but like to your face, to your face, guys. So check out my website, hotmessyoga.life, H-A-W-T, messyoga.life. This next moment is going to be very awkward for you. Bye, cabbages! I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.